just when you thought the game wasn't wolfy enough. They added a werewolf. Uh, they added a werewolf a long time ago. So, you know, it, just because we're jumping on the wagon now doesn't mean Greymane hasn't always been cool. Fucking Q is your Gilnean cocktail. This is an ability that you throw in a line. If it hits something, it's going to pop, do a whole bunch of damage in a cone. you got to hit something to make it useful. Honestly, you have to hit something in front of the thing that you want to hit to make it useful. Inner Beast is an attack speed steroid. You hit this button, you start attacking faster. The more that you hit stuff, the longer the duration of the steroid lasts. Uh, Dark Flight is your, uh, your fucking E button. <clears throat> wow. Ugh. Excuse me. It lets you jump onto things and turn into a worgen, which is Wolfman. Giant Wolfman. And you are no longer a ranged assassin in this form. You are a melee assassin, and you do a fuck ton more damage with your auto attacks in this form, changing your Q into a Razor Swipe, which is a short skill shot forward that moves Greymane in that direction while cleaving. Uh, your E turns into disengage when you are a worgen, so where Dark Flight lets you hop in, disengage lets you roll out or forward or whichever direction you want it to go. Curse of the worgen, if I didn't explain it already, is your trait. You turn into giant wolfman with your E, and when you're doing this, you gain 10 armor and your basic attacks deal more damage. You're tankier in wolf form, but you're also more susceptible to... Uh, damage, because you're closer. Things happen to people when they're close to places they shouldn't be. Go for the Throat is your first heroic. This is your uh, life-ending heroic. You're going to use this to kill the fuck out of some people who are low health. They get a handy little identifier over their heads when they're within the realm of death with this ability. And then if you kill them with it, it resets the ability for a 10 second window that you can cast it again and kill somebody else with it. It only does it twice unless you take the 20 ultimate where you can keep doing it forever. But yeah, that's how it works. Curse Bullet is your, uh, really your engage CC follow up, uh, ultimate health percentage damage dealer ult. This one is on a much, much shorter cooldown, but you can't kill people with it because it does percentage damage, and it is going to do 35% health damage. <sighs> Just like thir 35. That is 1% per second of cooldown. That is more than 1% of health per second of cooldown. It's fucking crazy. So these are both really good ultimates. Let's see which one makes sense. Hopefully there's a double tank team on the other side of the fucking battlefield and we can shoot him with the giant angry bullets it anyway yeah all righty then uh warhead junction not my ideal gray main map i mean gray main's kind of he's he's the jack of all trades right so he's not gonna be terrible anywhere but there's some maps he's gonna perform um weaker on. I think this is one of those. Uh, we are actually going to take uh, I believe Viciousness here. Because the damage that we're going to be dealing in team fights on this map against these people specifically is probably going to be an all-in bursty kind of damage and we just want to have our Dahaka needs to go down there. I'm going to go top. Deal with the Genji. Um, but it's going to be an all in, like, all or nothing team fight. Go in or get your shit killed. Uh, normally, I like to play Greymane for the cocktail build. Just get that poke damage. And. Uh, you know, kind of annoy the enemy to death before jumping in. But I think on this map in particular. We're going to have to curb that expectation. Go ahead and get the lane cleared. We hit pretty hard, man, and I don't always have to, you know, 
fucking trade with you. Oh my god, that's so short. I'm used to having the longer range on the cocktail. Uh, so, we're going to have to be a lot more cognizant of where we're throwing the Gilnean cocktail. But, I guess against Genji especially, we don't have to worry as much about his defensive abilities and trading with him because he's pretty easy for us to trade against. Our auto attacks hit a lot harder than his, I believe. And there's less for us to care about unless they try to gank us, which it doesn't look like because they've got two middle still and junk right bottom. Nobody I'm terribly concerned about getting killed by. Go ahead and throw that Q that way. Let's see, at this level, hmm, we are going to take Eyes in the Dark, which makes us stealthy when we use our disengage. Uh, we get a cloak for a little bit, and suddenly we can't be hit by auto attacks, because we're invisible. It's definitely kind of a afterthought uh, type ability. Because you're not ever, you're not ever going to engage with I disengage. <laughs> you get it uh, into a team fight, and you're not going to want to engage with stealth. So it's it's like, do you take the block talent and get it chunked out because Genji's got the triple auto attack, or do you take the disengage with stealth and try to save yourself some headache? Your life is I can get you. Victory. Just throw that that way, make sure we hit him. If he comes down here again, we can jump on him. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's go ahead, start channeling this. If he decides to come back over here to fuck with us. I'm just going to move a bit closer. Okay, I'm going to push this stupid thing into his stupid fucking fort. Because he's being an annoying douchebag. Like, he can't fight us. Almost no one can fight us, if we're being honest. But, uh, just go ahead and channel this. Wow! That was really far. Ultimately, I don't actually give a shit about collecting the nuke. I'm just trying to get him to get into position so I can trade some decent damage on him. But he's being a hyper bitch. That didn't hit her. Wow, and my auto attack was too slow. That is really upsetting. Just trying to get that nuke off of Sonya. Oh, she, she didn't get it off. Nice. Uh, let's see. We're going to take Wizened Duelist at this level because the more people that we hit with our auto attacks, the more damage that we're going to do. We get more stacks for... Uh, uh, did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Get more stacks for Wargun auto attacks, and uh, these all have to be against heroes. But let's see, what does it, it's like six human basic attacks, three Wargun basic attacks uh, are going to increase your damage. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but the other options here aren't going to be super good for us. And this is just tailored to the amount of team fighting I'm expecting to happen. And I'm not going to stand there. Didn't want to tank the tower, and we got it. I can't save you, friend. Oh, I can't even save myself here. Absolutely. Really? Okay. Uh, uh, Grey Mane's easiest method of escape is eing in and then queuing away immediately because the queue is a short dash. A lot of the time, if you're... Oh my god, can you... No. Wow. Anyway. Uh, you get into a lot of really hairy positions. 
with Greymane sometimes in Worgen form, so... Can we get her? Nope, we can't. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the escape. So, you can still do a decent amount of burst damage with your... I think we'd take over the throat. Uh, with your E and an auto attack, and then you just pop back out. Oh man, this lane. This map in general, I mean... Just gonna go I'm all the way over here because that full enemy team rotation. Really? Like, you've already seen what I can do to you and you just stand there. You can't deflect any of my shit. Ow! Got him. I'm doing a really bad job with the Inner Beast. I always do a really bad job with the Inner Beast on this hero, because I want to hit it every time I engage, but sometimes that's not the right thing to do. Especially with the cooldown on it being 20 fucking seconds, unless you increase it with either uh, Wolf Heart or getting stacks. Uh, which are conveniently located down there. What was that? I will not accept <laughs> didn't make it. Nailed it. And now we're getting away. Oh no! That is not good! Wow, that hammer. <laughs> that, all of that was so scary. And I want to keep doing scary things because I know I can kill that Genji if I can get near him. Go after him, Genji, go after him. Come on, you know you want to do it. You didn't do it. What a bitch. I would have done it if I was playing Genji. This week of is uh, is one of those where it's just like straight murderers down the line. We started with Hanzo, went over to Gul'dan, then it's fucking Greymane, and next up is Genji. So, like, get ready to have all of your hopes and dreams crushed in quick match. Uh, I think we're gonna take Running Wild actually. He keeps jumping in. I guess he he wants us to do damage to him. Got it! Next. Next. Greymane with the BM. I should have queued out immediately. Not too worried about that. But that was a really horrible situation for us to be in. Luckily, there was a lot of minions. I'm gonna jump on this. We're gonna get on it with Illidan, do some damage with our fucking auto attacks, and then suddenly we're out of Inner Beast again because I hit it too fucking soon. Let's go up there and deal with that top lane. Dehaka is on it. Good guy, Dehaka. Illidan going bottom. Look at this team just all up in the know. Like, how do we do this shit? How do we do it? How do we win? Because I want to do that, and I believe. This Not like I'm actually mine. worried about us losing, because, uh, have you seen the enemy team? Let's go down and help. I'm sure we can kill this guy. Oh my god, we're so dead! Wow, I wasn't expecting the Uther out of fucking left field with the Divine Shield and stone his fucking ass! I don't 
think you can win that, buddy. Ah. <sighs> well, I joined the uh, solo death club. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing a decent amount of damage. We're all in the same general area. I've survived much worse than this. At any point, if we wanted to, we could probably fight for boss. It's really interesting that that is down that far already. It must have been a nuke. Yeah, never mind. It's not interesting. That's that's so annoying. I have used my engage. That didn't hit him. I hate not having the range on that ability. It's such a gimped, short, fucking limp range. It's just like, Ugh! let me use my only poke tool to not poke because it missed. Because it's like I gotta be so fucking close. Didn't even need to use our ult. Gonna get hit by that though. Didn't need to use the ult there, but I was slapping it because I wanted her. What do we even take here? Actually, I think we take Executioner. Because whoever. White main uses her, yes, and then Tassadar's as well. Oh my god, I dodged right the fuck into that. I need healing! We're gonna get that Tassadar life leech back and then get the fuck out of that circle. Uh, if I didn't mention it, when you take Wizen Duelist, you lose the stacks when you die. You don't lose all of them, but you do lose a pretty hefty chunk of them. We're down to 9, I think we were at like 13, 14-ish? And they're pretty tough to get in this map, especially, so... We could totally kill her. I thought you were going to get that tongue, bro. Much he popped her shield for it. And we're dropping nukes left and fucking right. This boss is still insanely healthy. So we do not have much to fear. He's going to pop Inner Beast to get some straight siege damage going. And we're gonna roll over here. Junkrat using his abilities on the boss. You can do it. Yay. Go ahead and drop that nuke. Normally I'd say fuck nuking middle, but uh, bottom lane's already dead. So who really wants to spend the nuke on the top lane after walking all that way to the middle lane? Sometimes you just gotta take a break, give yourself a rest, nuke middle, make other terrible decisions, you know? Oh, he is invincible at the last possible second. Oh, he finally died. And the fucking Q range is too short. Again. I agree with that decision. I am on the way. Okay, let's do this. Chap, 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 chap. Whack! Oh, I got hit by that because I was looking at my stacks instead of my freaking position. 18 drops us down to 10 seconds cooldown, so 18 autos with Inner Beast up halves the cooldown. By default. You can take Wolfheart at level 1, I think, to double that. I can't remember. Does that actually do that? Yes, it does. I should have taken that. Uh, but, there again, I built for what I thought was going to be much more bursty, short-lived teamfights. 
And these have been going a little bit longer than I want them to. Throw that this way. There, he is dead. Just gonna keep attacking. Come over here. Got him. Got him too. We're getting them all. And here we are at level 20. We're gonna take Hunter's Blunderbuss here. This makes your auto attacks in human form splash. And that, I'm sure I don't have to tell you, is ridiculously powerful in team fights, even though we're not gonna need it at all. Well, let's take a look here. Our team just kinda rolled the fuck over them. Victory. Illidan beat me by just a smidge. But I had the most MVP. fucking soak. So go me. I'll give it to you, buddy. I'll give it to you. Wow, how the. Ha, uh, uh, participation trophy. Play your hero trophy. And. Okay, that's. Whatever. You you deserve it. None of these guys did. You deserve it too. But, uh, yeah, that is Greymane in a nutshell. He's pretty fucking cool. We got a box. And uh, he's also a dog. So let's take a look at them talents. Level one, I guess don't take this. Because I was... Eh, I don't... Yeah, I wasn't getting a whole lot out of this. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's Wolfheart. It's either Wolfheart or it's it's the, the cocktail talent. Because you're either going cocktail build or you're going kind of more all-in auto attack focused uh, but this I was just not feeling the effects of this where I think I would have felt more of a uh, increase in the attack speed duration with Wolfheart. Uh, Eyes in the Dark at 4 you can take the uh, the block talent at this level 2 if you really want to but you've already got a well, maybe not a fuck ton, but you got 10 armor in, in Worgen form anyway. This kind of helps your escapes when you're up against auto attackers who are trying to kill you with those. Uh, this whole talent tier is just kind of lackluster, so Eyes in the Dark is usually the go for, but I mean, go with what you feel. Disin, or sorry, uh, Wizen Duelist, Disin Duelist, is level 7 to increase our auto attack damage. This was a little bit tougher to do, but we still got some decent value out of it. Got about halfway to the cap in that game. The map is just so fucking huge that uh, it was tough to get stacks. We probably should have just gone with the extended range on the auto attacks. Would have been more useful. Level 10, go for the throat. This was just used for trying to pick off uh, low health target, low health target, uh, and then the other three, I got I mean, whatever. 13, running wild to increase the range on our E, so we can hop in quicker. Executioner, because we had white main slowing people, and we had Tassadar slowing people, and then there would have been Dahaka drags if I was good enough to witness those and jump on his target. Uh, and then level 20 was Hunter's Blunderbuss, even though there was absolutely zero use for it in this game, because we hit 20 and immediately won. This is really good for the later game team fights because uh, if you auto attack people, you're also hitting the person behind them for the same amount of damage while you're a human. So your damage in human form effectively doubles uh, against the enemy team. That was great, Main. Though I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make, and I am expecting the same result with Genji tomorrow. So. Yeah, I like I like Greymane a lot more than Genji, though. Greymane's a lot more interactive, a lot more fun. But I hope you liked it. Thanks for YouTube and hanging out. You have yourself 